Hi everybody, welcome back to story time. And if you hear crunching in the background, you'll see, you'll hear Shadow eating his lunch. Here in Georgia, he is, he's eating. So you're going to hear a lot of crunching, I'm sure, during this story. We are going to read How to Catch the Tooth Fairy. Have you lost a tooth yet? Do you know who the tooth fairy is? Well, the tooth fairy brings you prizes or money when you lose a tooth. But before we get into our book, let's do our things, our, what we do. First of all, let's <clears throat> read our letter of the day. And our A is for Amazing Book by Dr. Kelly Anderson. And we are as far up as the letter F is for super and special and sociable and sensational and spectacular and savory and sunny and so many other S words. And like we always do when we go through this, we go to our... Um, we go through the book and we pick out a word for each letter of the alphabet, don't we? So, let's find our A words. A is for amazing. B is for beautiful. We're all beautiful in our own ways, inside and out. C is for confident. D is for delightful. E is for excellent. F is for friendly. We all need to be friendly and speak to everyone. G is for good nature. H is for hard working. I is for innocent. J is for jolly. K is for kind hearted. L is for likable. It's windy at my house today. Is it windy at your house? M is for magnificent. N is for noble. O is for outstanding. P is for polite. Q is for quick thinking. R is for respectful. And S is for special. And come back on our next book and we'll read the T words. Plus one more. And before we get started, let's say hello to all our friends. Let's say hi to Caleb and Journey and Margo and Harrison and Erica and Kendall and Faith and all our friends in Miss Elwood's class. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. So when I say the number two, I want you to tell me your name so that we will all be friends. You ready? One, two. Claudia, or you can call me Sissy. And before we get started on our book today, we have one more thing we do. Remember we say our little poem, don't we? You ready? Gather your children and gather your blankets and your bears and your lost tooth too. And let's all settle down. 
because I have a story to read to you. I enjoy this series, and I'm going to get us a new book every month on how to catch something. And this month, we're reading How to Catch the Tooth Fairy by Adam Walsh. Wallace, I'm sorry. I am just tired today. So, if I miss say a word, you know why. And I'll tell you a secret. The Tooth Fairy likes clean teeth. And look, they ride on toothbrushes and they have wings. But they really all love clean teeth. When I was a little girl, I had a Tooth Fairy pillow. How to Catch the Tooth Fairy All is quiet, all is still. The clock shows 3.09. The bell goes off. I'll go to work because now my, it's my time to shine. She gets up really early in the morning, doesn't she? I'm the Tooth Fairy, yes I am, and every single night I collect 300,000 teeth while staying out of sight. That's a lot of teeth. I see a fairy blowing a bubble. Do you see that fairy? Do you see the fairy blowing a bubble? There's Boy tooth fairies for the boys and girl tooth fairies for the girls. And sometimes they go to see everybody. My travels take me far and wide. My life is such a blast. But please don't try to catch me. I'm really much too fast. At Nancy Catton's house, I recall an important fairy rule. When you're taking someone's tooth, watch out for their drool. Ooh, she got stuck on the drool, didn't she? Johnny Withers sets a trap. He wants me in a box. I'll take his tooth, and then for fun, I'll hide all his socks. You better watch out. You never know what the tooth fairy can do. Cotton candy love the stuff, but I won't try to eat it. Every trap that's set for me is sure to be defeated. Do you like cotton candy? Julie has a good idea. A trap made out of floss. I'll get her tooth and then leave a coin to pay her for her loss. Do you floss your teeth? Or does mommy floss your teeth? As I fly to Taylor's bed, I notice something scary. But once I've tied it all in knots, I'm feeling rather merry. That is a Venus fly trap. And they eat bugs. The, this trap is so good, I'm quite impressed. It nearly did me in, but I've got golden fairy dust. I'll never let you win. Look at there. And she throws the fairy dust onto the cat, and the cat sneezes. And she flies off to the tooth fairy land. The ooey gooey ketchup atollet fires marshy mellow yum. But it doesn't catch me, but it does just slightly stick to my bum. Fairy Buster 9000. Look at there. Have you ever seen a little bird like this? When I was a little girl, we used to have them. The lights are off in Sarah's room and traps are everywhere. I'll need to do my very best to fly safe out of there. Now Sojay is creative. He made a special cave. 
Am I no more? Is this the end? You better turn the page. Oh no, did he catch her? Did he? Did he? No, of course not. The ladybug comes and saves her, along with the mouse friend. Look at there. And then, at last, I'm home again. The teeth are safe and sound. The kid who catches me in a trap is still yet to be found. Can you catch the tooth fairy? Well, how did you like our book? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed reading to you. And you can find this book at your library or on Amazon or at any bookstore. It's titled How to Catch the Tooth Fairy by Adam Wallace. And I know you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed reading to you. So if you go to the store or if you ask mommy to look up on Amazon and you find other books on how to catch in this series that you would like to see me read, just send me a message on Facebook and I will place an order for that particular book. I know there's one about how to catch a unicorn. I think that will be the next one I read. But we will have to wait and see. I hope that you have a wonderful week and a terrific day. And I really want you to come back again and see me on the next book that I will read. Goodbye for now. Be kind.